Hey, welcome back everyone to another how-to series by Trend Micro. My name is Michael Clifford. I'm a support engineer for Trend Micro, handle products like Apex One, Apex Central, Office Scan, and a bunch of others. So getting on with it, we uh, synchronize our Active Directory, uh, and now we want to add a user for single sign-on so you don't have to remember yet another password. So once your Active Directory is synchronized, uh, adding a user account is as simple as going to Administration, Account Management, and User Accounts. Once this pops up, you simply click Add. Go ahead and specify that you want to do an Active Directory user or group. And today I'm going to go ahead and add myself. I, I like being an admin. So you just enter in the username or the group name. Um, certain wildcards are accepted in there. You can even go down to the detailed level of, of what base distinguished name they are. So I'll just go ahead and click Search. I pop right up. So we'll add that to our user group and this is the user we will want to be an admin. So on the next page, once you're adding a new user, you can select the role that they're gonna have. Uh, in my case, I am all the things. So I am an administrator and DLP compliance officer. And this uh, link over here will tell you all about the different roles and their capacities um, to go through. So the new one to Apex Central is the threat investigator, which has a lot to deal with the threat intel and the EDR um, investigations, detailed investigations, and things of that nature. But that'll be a separate guide altogether. So for today, we're going to be an administrator and DLP compliance officer. So you would select what products they have control over on this screen and what rights, uh, folder access rights they have for that. So you can really detail down what the user rights accesses are to your environment if you have a team that handles very specific responsibilities. So that's it. Now we're, uh, we're added. It's an AD account and very much specifies that. And we can log in with this account just like we would with AD and it'll go ahead and authorize against your AD um, whenever you log in with it. So we'll go ahead and test that out right now since we're already here. So I'll log off of the root account that we made initially. And I'll go ahead and log on with my domain credentials. Now, if you have single sign-on set up for Internet Explorer or your other browsers, then you can click this Log On With Domain Credentials button. If it's not set up, it'll bring up another prompt where you'd fill in your domain credentials. But filling them in here is just fine so long as you use the Log On button. And every user um, has a different widget setting. So th this is user-specific. They will get the quick start guide every time they log in for the first time. So go ahead and close that. And here we are, we're, we're at the dashboard, we're admins, and we can go through and check out everything with our AD account and our AD password with no further issues. Uh, that's it for today. Next, uh, next up, uh, we'll probably do more, more user accounts, groups, and maybe Apex One. Bye.